All right, so the first thing we're going to do is actually give the shorts um, some bone weight such that some of the vertices can deform along with the armature because not all vertices are just going to be the claw simulation. If they're all part of the claw simulation, the shorts would just fall because they're not they're not anchored to anything. So in order to we're going to do a quick, you know, a quick fix to, for that. So click on the body first, then shift click on the shorts. We're going to go to weight paint, go weights and transfer weights and then change this to by name. That'll transfer all the weights from the nearest vert from the nearest vertex on the body to the nearest vertex on the shorts. And that's all we need to do to transfer the weights. But we also still need to parent the armature to the shorts. So select the shorts first and then shift click the armature, then control P, then just hit armature deform. And now you'll be able to see that the shorts deform with the armature. And it, they don't, it doesn't deform very well, as you can tell, like the crotch is, you know, let me, right, so the crotch is all jagged, it's messed up, but it doesn't matter because the, the, these vertices will be part of the simulation. It's these vertices, this top edge loop, that we want to be 100% part of the armature deformation. So, it, so the vertices are anchored with the armature. So in order to have these vertices be anchored 100% to the armature, we're going to go to vertex groups. So I've already select. So here I'll deselect the um, edge loop. But in order to easily select that edge loop at the top, Alt click on the edge, and if you have a good edge loop, it'll it'll select it nicely. So going back to our vertex groups, we're going to add a vertex group, and we're just going to call it pinning. And the weight's already at one, so we're going to assign one. So all these vertices at this top edge loop have a pinning value of one. And so when it has a pinning value one, that will say that will tell the claw simulation, don't simulate these vertices. And then that means these vertices will be just use their weights from the armature and they'll follow the armature. So we've done a few things, but we haven't actually done anything with the claw sim. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So we're going to move over to our physics properties and we hit the clock. So that's going to assign a cloth simulation to the shorts here that we have selected. And I always do this. So I always set the stiffness to something really low, like one across all fields. And same thing with the damping. The reason I do that is because if these values are too large, you might see errors. And the problem is it might not be these values. It could be something else. And so if you see errors, but you have no idea where they come from, that's a problem. And that's going to cost you a lot of time. So I always start with something that will work. And the lower the values, you'll see something that works. And then you can tweak these after to get the... Um, to get the cloth to behave exactly the way you want it to. So, but we're not gonna go over these values specifically. So moving down, we arrive at shape, which um, you see this nice little field called pin group. Well, guess what we're gonna put there? We're gonna put that pinning vertex group there. And so this is the thing that, that binds that pinning group to the simulation such, as, such that the simulation knows what to apply the cloth simulation to and what not to apply it to. And moving down further, we're going to enable self collisions because if you don't enable self collisions, the cloth can clip through itself. So it's always good, in my opinion, to use self collisions. And in the same vein of the stiffness and, and damping and whatnot, we're gonna lower our distance to the minimum for both of these. Because if the distance is too high, your cloth simulation will break and it'll, it'll freak out and it's gonna look wrong. And you would rather you know have it have a lower value and it's like, okay, that Mosey looks right. And then after that, you can tweak these values to get the behavior you expect. And the final thing we need to do the shorts, which has nothing to do with the um, actual simulation is we're going to give a little bit of thickness. So we can go to the modifier, add modifier, solidify. And you know, shorts are not, you know, cloth is not a sheet, right? So if we kind of take that away, like cloth is not that thin. So we're giving a little bit of thickness here. And we'll get about, you know, 0 0.002 and offset of zero. So it doesn't, so it protrudes more outward. And now the final thing we need to do is give the body a collision. Sorry, went to the wrong areas. <laughs> collision. And again, use the minimum distances to just get started and then tweak them afterwards. Now, all we need to do is go to the shorts and then we're going to go ahead and just bake the simulation we'll do like 40 frames and i'm gonna hit the bake all dynamics button and come back when it's done all right so we're back and let's see how that turned out 
So I'm playing back the animation, and I mean, there is no animation, it's just a rest pose, but you can see it actually looks correct. Um, the cloth is colliding with the legs, and it doesn't look all cylindrical anymore. There are folds, and these top vertices um, in the top edge loop are staying pinned to the armature, so the shorts aren't just falling off. All right, so that's great. We, we, we see it working in the rest pose, but let's also apply it to an animation. So I already have an animation set up and ig ignored the initial pose. Um, but so I'm gonna go ahead and bake these, uh, this animation out and then uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like. So delete all bakes and then bake all dynamics. All right, so the bake is finished and let's see how the first 40 frames actually look. So I'm gonna just play it back in the viewport and it looks pretty good. Everything's colliding, the folds are good, it's kind of damping and we're good, right? So I'm not gonna play it any further because then the shorts will fall off because I didn't bake the rest of the, um, the simulation. So uh, that's it. And uh, let's go see how the final animation looks with you know a nice background and some lighting and um, that's it. So this is just a quick start to get you um, set up with having some working cloth on your character. And then you can look deeper into each parameter that I mostly glossed over, right? But then you can at least tweak them in isolation and see how um, they affect your cloth and you can get the exact result you want. So that's all I have for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.